to Package Rebellion. I am your host, Barry Lumbersquatch. I'm still here with Jeff on Instagram. Still wearing the same flannel that you saw me in from last week. Why? Because I record these things two at a time. I'm not going to take my flannel off and show you the shirt underneath or my belly. Whatever. Uh, so thanks to Jeff for hanging out and throwing in the punchlines every now and then, even though I have to kind of bend over to read it, which is like really weird. But this week... We have the newest issue, and I hope I don't pronounce this wrong, because I know I'm going to. It's already in my head. Uh, Psychroptic, As the Kingdom Drowns, released November 9th on... On? I don't remember. Oh my god. Prosthetic Records. Uh, just kidding. Um, they've had previous releases on Nuclear Blast, and guess what, Jeff? Unique Leader. Um, they formed in Australia... Uh, specifically, I guess, in Hobart. I don't know much about Australia. I'm sorry, friends. 1999, and As the Kingdom Drowns is their seventh studio album. Uh, there are a lot of variations of this out there. There's This is from their band camp. So let's see. We, there were 400 clear with orange and black splatter. Those were online and in stores only. North American Europe. 200 orange and white swirl, online only, North American and Europe. 150 orange with black splatter, Australia and New Zealand only, released on EVP recordings. 125 band store in Australia and New Zealand only, released on EVP recordings. 125 orange band store in Australia and New Zealand only, released on EVP recordings. I love copy and paste because if I had to type that out, I'd be done. All right, so... Let's get at it. Uh, again, As the Kingdom Drowns, released November 9th. Oh, my flips. I flip these things so awesomely. Still didn't change my blade. Uh, Psychroptic. Some sweet technical death metal. Um, just another band that if you follow their progression from their time on Unique Leader, which was they were on before they went to Nuclear Blast, um, just grown again musically lyrically i like the word i like the term sonically for some reason i don't know why so i think sonically kind of encompasses more than you know just saying oh musically and lyrically yeah. uh, no i'm not going to take it off i think i lost all my viewers but that's okay get rid of that look it says stuffing again it's just like i don't get it <sighs> All right, dun dun dun. There we are. So what do we got? Put my knife away or stab somebody. As the Kingdom Drowns, Psychroptic, the seventh album. See, I was right. From the Tasmanian Extreme Metal Stalwarts, Psychroptic, um, with nine tracks, rift-filled technical ecstasy. That's a good one, technical ecstasy. The ta what is it? I can't read upside down. The Tasmaniacs are back to reclaim their kingdom. This is the white wax with orange swirls. I had a little bit of a problem finding this at first. Um, it was kind of hard to find, but I did eventually get it via their Bandcamp page. I think that's where I found it. This is the worst part of anything. I'm trying to open these things up without because I like to try to leave the sticker on. There we go. Sound like. Bob Ross. Hey, there's a happy little knife slip. Uh, time is such... Oh, this is such a great album. Yes, I agree. G-off. 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 There we go. Picture of the band in all their glory. And back lyrics. Tell you, the great thing about like death metal, progressive, technical, death slam, brutal, I don't know, whatever you want to call it metal, I'm really happy when they include lyrics. Not that I sing along a lot, but it helps. Back cover's pretty, pretty standard. Just some, you know, stuff down to the barcode. Barcode's always important. Uh, just the songs, basic back. The album cover is pretty awesome. Let's see if we can find out who did the artwork. Uh, artwork by Maruzi, Ma Maruz Lewandowski. I got Lewandowski correct. 
I like to give credit to the people who do the artwork because that's one of the things I like most. Most? Did I say that correctly? I sound weird sometimes when I talk. Maybe it's a New Jersey accent. Um, you know, everybody was saying, oh, everything's going to go digital, blah, 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 digital this, digital that. And I hated it. I, I hate it with movies. I hate it with anything because technically you don't own it. It's not yours. And then you don't get the artwork and the time that goes into this and be able to see. I mean, what are you going to look at it on a computer? No. That's stupid. Stupid. I like to own it. Physically own it. And that's why I think one of the reasons why vinyl has become so popular, again, is because it's physical. You can hold it. You can own it. A lot of times, like um, with prosthetic records, I buy the record. They give me the digital download. Not just me personally. I'm not that fucking special. But I just think it makes it that much more awesome. So, yes, I have the physical if I want to play it. But I also have the digital end of it to take with me anywhere. Because I look really stupid walking around with a record player on my hip. Like this. Oh, you can't see that on YouTube, but Instagram saw that. That was pretty cute. So, this is the white with orange swirl. Uh, it's, it's a little harder to see. It's more orange than anything, but you can see the swirl picked up in here. This is side B. We're going to flip it to side A. Do you own this one, Jeff? Tell me you own it. Uh, it's more defined here on side A. I do like that they cover uh, carried the cover art over to the album, the vinyl itself. I keep getting hair over. I'm very hairy. Very hairy, man. Mm. And it is an awesome release. There's, listen, if, no, it's, no, not on vinyl. I'm thinking about getting it, though. Do it. Do it now. Da, go get it. Um, I don't know how much I have left. I really wanted the orange or the clear, but I couldn't get, I think those were sold out by the time I was able to get online and order it. Um, but if I don't like it, I don't put it on the show. Because, I mean, that's just dumb. And I'm not negative that way. I'm not going to get something because I don't like it just to show you people. You one person specifically. Look at that, Jeff. Jeff, that's beautiful. Do you see that? It's like I'm, I'm hypnotizing you. Yes, yeah, seriously. Go out and get this. Support all the bands that I put out on here. Um, because they're all awesome. And basically what's going to happen in the future is I'm going to change formats in a couple weeks. I might actually get on camera myself. I'm not that pretty, so I'm just giving you that fair warning. Um, but I might do more, along with the unboxing, more uh, of a review. Sh uh, I wouldn't want to say show, but video as well. So it'll be review slash unboxing. Um, I haven't had time to get the website up and running, so... Trying to combine everything at once. Uh, it is incredible. And so is the vinyl. Oh, I thought you, I thought you meant me. Ha! That old gag. All right. So, I forgot to say this at the end of the last episode. Um, but I put all the notes, all the links I can for the bands and labels in the show notes via YouTube. Um, I don't, they won't give me a vanity name yet because I'm not that popular. Uh, but you can check out our Instagram at packaged underscore rebellion. Uh, send, send me an email packaged rebellion 333 at gmail.com. I'm on Twitter. Uh, I think it's bar, uh, B underscore lumber squatch. I think that's it. But again, all that is in the show notes. Um, what do we got coming up in a couple weeks? I don't even know. I've got stuff coming in. Because uh, we're getting close to like Thanksgiving and Christmas, so there's going to be a lot of cool stuff coming out. I still have some vinyl on the way. I still have vinyl upstairs. I haven't unboxed yet that i got to get to. Um, you know, follow me on Instagram because I, I do post stuff on there that I don't do for the show. Uh, so that'd be really cool. Again, I, I, I definitely, you know, Prosthetic Records is really big with retweeting my links and, and helping me out. And Unique Leader, Season of Mist, they're all great great uh, labels and they have great bands on them so help them out 
buy their stuff, support, go to the shows. I can't go to the shows. It's kind of hard for me because where I live, I'm like two hours one way from New York, an hour and a half from Philly. Um, work. So yeah, it sounds like I'm old because I am. This is what happens. You get old and you just complain a lot. Kids on my grass, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. Thank you to Jeff for hanging out with me tonight. Uh, I'm going to go live the next time I do this. Uh, again, it, it's packaged underscore rebellion. So follow me there. Uh, hopefully we get a couple people in there. It's, again, it's kind of hard for me to, to read because I have to lean down and look at my phone. That's neither here nor here. You don't want to hear that shit. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being you. Until next time, see you later. Bye.